Now, but what I wanted to talk about today uh, was the question, you know, what about the soul that has never heard the gospel? And, and this is a, often a question that comes up. It's often raised as an accusation against God. And I just want you to, I just want to go through the logic with you of how people come to this question. Because the logic goes like this. Number one, God's punishment for sin is hell, right? Romans uh, 6.23, the wages of sin is death. So God has a punishment for sin, and that is eternity in hell. Number two, we sin from birth as well as willfully sinning, don't we? So Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So God's punishment for sin is hell, and we all sin from birth, and we all willfully sin. So we all deserve that punishment. Then we learned, uh, I can't remember how many weeks ago, but when we talked about how babies went to heaven, we, we learned that everyone, even though a baby who is spiritually alive, but their sin is dead, eventually will come to that knowledge, right? So we're, we're, discount, we're not talking about the babies that die and go to heaven. We're talking about everyone eventually who has sinned and deserves hell will come to that knowledge, right? And because they've already sinned, they will die the moment they understand sin and salvation. <clears throat> so number four is, therefore, and we came to this conclusion, we go to hell, a person goes to hell not because they have sinned, because we all sin and eventually they come to that knowledge and now they're condemned. They go to hell because they do not accept the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what sends them to hell. The grace is available to them. At the point they understand sin, they understand salvation, and if they don't accept salvation, they'll go to hell. But then number five is, you know, but then Romans 10 says, how shall they hear without a preacher? So then the question is then asked, well then, if somebody never has the opportunity to even know about Jesus Christ, how can God justly send that person to hell if they never even had the opportunity to, to believe on him? And that's where the question comes from. So that's the reasoning behind how we even come to that question. So it's not sin that sends us to hell. It's not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. But how shall they hear without a preacher, Romans 10 says. So how can God send somebody to hell who does not even have the opportunity to believe on Jesus Christ? Now, one thought I have before going into to, to the points I have today, is do, does this person only exist in the hypothetical? Meaning, can you, even, can you even actually meet this person? Because when you see somebody and you're like, oh, there's somebody that has never heard of Jesus Christ, how would you even know that they haven't heard of Jesus Christ? The only way you could know is if you asked them. And then the moment you ask them, now they've heard of Jesus Christ. So... You know, it, does this person only exist in the hypothetical? Possibly, but I, may, I, can, I can give it that, you know, there probably are people out there that I guess, you know, because we, we, we don't know that they haven't and we don't know that they have. But we could say that they, they only exist in the hypothetical because we, we don't know until somebody reaches them. <clears throat> now, I just want you to think as well that, you know, the, the you've got to think of the intent behind the question because when somebody asks... You know, what about the people that have not heard the gospel? The intent behind the question is to accuse God of not being just, right? That, that's really uh, why it's an objection, because if, they, if, if, um, if there wasn't an issue, it wouldn't, even, it wouldn't even come up. So the intent of the question is to accuse God of being unjust in his judgment uh, of not accepting Christ. You know, they'll say, how can that be the way of salvation? How can the way of salvation be to believe on Jesus Christ when not everybody has heard of Jesus Christ? You know, not everybody has heard the gospel, and if not all have, if, if not everyone has, if everyone does not have the opportunity to be saved, how can you hold the sinner accountable for his sin? How can you hold that person accountable for not accepting Jesus Christ if they have never had the choice? And and they basically will throw that accusation that that Abraham did. You know, Abraham threw the accusation to God, saying, "Will not the Judge of all the earth do right?" Now we learn from that that the judge of all the earth will do right. And we saw from that, from that story that he did do what's right. He took out Lot and he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, but remember, but, but Abraham, I think, because he asked it as a question, you know, because he, he was trying to bargain with God, right? And then he said, will not the judge of all the earth do right? So it was, it was actually an accusation and thinking, you know, how can you do this? This is not right. But we, we learned that God always does what's right. So... This, this, is, this is the intent of the question and why it, it, it is important to answer because it, it is an accusation on the, the just uh, judgment of God which is to send those that have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to hell. Um, so 
You know, and, and today, I, I don't know if I have a definitive answer for you, you know, but I wanted to just share a couple of points and the possible scenarios and the, the, the scenario that I swing towards. So I'll just go through a couple. I've got three scenarios for you. So when it, when it comes to who is at fault, who is responsible for the person going to hell, you really only have three options, three scenarios. 